to the basement. Shark log, day one. We've got our food here. We're gonna find a way to defend ourselves. And this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah, we need to protect ourselves against our shark. This is the schematic we used to build our taser. Due to unfortunate circumstances, I are shark on the loose. We were unable to leave the premises, and we were forced to resort to components which we had on hand. The schematic depicts a 1K to 8 mini audio transformer, which has a ratio of 125. Instead, we used a 200K to 1K transformer, which has a ratio of 200. We also replaced the BD679 transistor with the TIP31 transistor, which has half of the max power output of the original. But we accounted for this by increasing the number of capacitors and diodes from an 8 stage to a 12 stage. So here we've got our power supply. We're using 12 volts DC. So the primary side of the circuit, we've got our 555 timer. This converts it to AC. It comes over here to our transformer. This has a gain of 14. It comes over here to the secondary side of the circuit. This is where it gets interesting. Super powerful! We've got all of these capacitors and diodes, and this is where it steps up the voltage a lot. Uh, we've got our outputs here, and that would be at 3,000 volts. So, let's try it. Turn it on. Okay, we have our power supply on. Let the capacitors charge up a little bit. See the spark. I have a high voltage pro meter and I'm going to test the strength of the taser. I'm going to connect this to one output and the other output is connected to this black wire here. Ready? Three thousand volts. So this taser brings the voltage up from 12 volts of direct current to about 3,000 volts, and that is a gain of 250. And if the power goes out, in the case of an IR shark attack, we can use a 9 volt battery and alligator clips to make this a transportable taser. It is our five of the IR shark survival method that we have come up with in the taser. And we are on the lookout for the IR shark. Thank